Jo, ja, was abusing yours, how do you hope people? We are playing today some Sorok awesome recording this in the morning, as you can see, off stream time. Um, why there is no sound? There you go, nice. We got Worgen. Uh, I feel like it's a Worgen. Yeah, so none of the mechanical units uh, races against me, so I feel like I'm going to play Worgen Curse. The Worgen Curse is like very, very good. Yeah, it's a foundation that lets you curse units and turn them into lesser werewolves. So I'm gonna go for that. I have nothing to upload for YouTube right now, so I decided, hey, I should record something then, you know, on stream, right? I mean, off stream. Uh, I noticed that there is uh, two gold mites on the left side, and I kind of really want them, I feel like. Don't I? Yeah, I really, really want them, so... The, the units I can curse um, enemies and turn them into lesser werewolves are Alpha and Feral Werewolf. Mm -hmm. Alpha is my caster that... Uh, has already one skill in uh, feral form, okay, into magic. So once he has that, he can turn into werewolf and yeah. Uh, Panda has his foundation being called a uh, potion master. I know what it does, but it seems to me it's some sort of healing. There was like a unit that was uh, getting healed up. Uh, troll, I don't see the foundation yet. I would really like to see the Dragon Turtles. I love, love Dragon Turtles. I feel like Dragon Turtles and uh, High Priests are very, very, like, you know, good for me, in my opinion. I hope I'm gonna grab at least this gold mine in time. But yeah, I'm gonna try to contest it to my best ability. And then, so that was a troll, that was a panda. And then we also have another race that I completely forgot about. Like, who's that, you know? Um, I'm kind of thinking, yeah, like, what should I go for? No. Okay, so he is not contesting our gold mines, which is a very interesting choice. Okay, if that's gonna be the case, then... Did he go meat? Okay, it's a dragon tortoise. Dragon tortoise and the guy is going on meat. <coughs> Very, very interesting indeed. I feel like Barrack on Middle does like give you gold, but it's kind of slower than a Barrack on the side. Because you get already immediately like 50 or 70 gold uh, if you capture a neutral building, right? So what I'm thinking about, before going to mid, I could have tried to go to the uh, right side. Going to the right side and grabbing all these neutral buildings. I feel like that's going to be the best way to play Soral Chaos right now. I like Serol Chaos, you can use a lot of brain power here and, you know, like, realize uh, some cool strats, you know, come up with some cool st cool stuff, right? So essentially, when you're pushing, right, you want to push and destroy enemies' buildings, cause some damage and economy loss. If you are not doing that, what you're essentially gonna end up with, you're gonna only feed enemies because you produce m more units, right? So when you upgrade a barrack, you produce uh, three more units, and those three more units are gonna feed your enemy, very likely. That's what is sus that this guy is not upgrade. Okay, I feel like it might be a fast game, and that sucks. He went to upgrade some mercenary. Ah, it's a GG for him at least. I don't see him coming back from that. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, the guy upgraded Barrack Troll on... Uh... Actually, no, wait, hold on, he's holding up. That's a downside of going for Masonry. I feel like you should really not go for Masonry so early. Okay, I guess the guy never upgraded a single Barrack, not on middle, not on uh, bottom. He went just straight Masonry, one caster upgrade, and that's it. Which is, I feel like it's a very, very bad way to play, but yeah, he survives. Okay, the, g the game gonna go longer. The game gonna go longer. Yeah, um, and we have a Blood Elf. The Blood Elf is a host, and the game name for the, for the lobby was... Uh, Straw Chaos Pros. 
Soroka was pros. So let's see if <coughs> these guys are indeed professionals. To upgrade some damage on melee, no caster upgrade. Here we have a caster upgrade and no upgrades on units. Besides from that. Uh, I'm finally gonna go to mid. Upgrade my barrack to mid so I can contest that. And probably push my damage upgrades more. Because they're the cheapest. 214 and upgrades basically everything that I have. It upgrades my range, it upgrades my melee, it upgrades my tier 1 melee, tier 2 melee, so yeah. It's a very, very nice upgrade. I know. Another like thing that I picked up basically is that you don't want to upgrade the uh, once again barracks too much because you're gonna fit with the units. Instead, you want people to upgrade barracks on you and then you summon heroes. If it's not gonna cause you to like later on lose your barracks or you know lose your game, etc., then yeah, it's good. Okay, as well right now. Here is the thing. Can I push back either Panda or um, or the Troll? I feel like the answer is no. As well as I'm not really winning in the middle. So I feel like the way to play it then is to upgrade, keep on upgrading damage. Not only because it's the cheapest thing, but when you're upgrading your damage. You also have like more last hits on the middle, once again, because there are 4 races, and the one who gets the gold is the one who has a lot of units, but also the one who gets the last hits. Uh, secondly, when you get damage upgrades, your units are still like very squishy, right? So you're not gonna slow down the push, instead, this guy is pushing like me very very fast right now, as you can see. Yeah, I probably have to train a lot of units, to be honest. It's like when you're starting to win, right? I feel like what so like makes it more solid and you know, solidifies your uh, push is the fact that you have uh, more armor upgrades. The units are tankier, so none of the units actually die. They keep themselves alive, they regenerate HP back. Uh, yeah, you can see like a regeneration on my units. It's pretty good. So once again, damage does not stop the push. You receive the push as uh, as early as possible because of that. And then you upgrade armor. And then you upgrade armor and you make it more solid. That's how I see it. So I want right now to, for this push to be more solid. And also I want to have easier time against that, I guess. Okay, and probably now... Yeah, I, c I can stop and go for uh, Mercenary. It's a tier 3 barrack by uh, Green on the middle. Very interesting, actually. Yeah, very interesting. You know what it makes me want to do? It makes me want to go tier 2 main and uh, upgrade my... And send my hero on mid. I feel like I'm gonna do that, yeah. I'm actually gonna do that. Yeah, all of them are going tier 3, look at that. Troll went tier 3, uh, Blood Oath went tier 3. I'm gonna wait a little bit before casting the spell. I feel like we're gonna kill them all. All of these pandas. Casters. I have Fountain of Mana. Nearby, I have his gold mines. Yeah, it's very sweet. So I'm gonna attack. I'm gonna attack and try to summon hero as fast as possible. Let's check out on gold. Uh, we have the most. Actually, no, blue has the most. Uh, I feel like blue has the most because he was late to upgrade his tier 2 barracks and I upgraded tier 2 barracks on him quite fast. And then he has uh, this foundation for the casters. So he has a, a pretty good early game. My foundation is more like a mid game. Uh, I'm gonna go for the foundation that is defensive. Because like it has the, the most value. Having 15% attack speed and movement speed is very very effective in my opinion. I'm gonna summon... Um, I like this guy because he is uh, ranged. 
There is also this one who has uh, Vampiric Aura, and I have no idea to be honest which one is better. But yeah. Um, I feel like I'm also gonna go for more damage upgrade so I can get more last hits out of this. But I also could have gone for armor to be honest. Armor will make me... Actually no, tower upgrades, yeah, what am I saying? Th there are some very good tower upgrades. Uh, this uh, roar, at least at low 1, is already very effective, because later on it progresses only by 25 damage and 50 AoE. But when you get it at first, it's already very, like, you know, good. Uh, bonus attack rate after a kill and heals for 500 damage. So this one is very effective indeed. Um, it increases attack rate after a kill. But you don't really need that. I mean, like, in my opinion, instead of that, you just need um, the heal, right? That comes with the passive. You heal yourself for 500 HP when you kill an enemy. There is also like 5% chance to become mindless. So it goes with, you know, a little bit of... Uh, uh, the, the bad part about it, so yeah. There is this uh, lesser rate, which is amazing, absolutely amazing. 25% uh, to bleed for 25 seconds. It's a slow in damage per second. I feel like at least, at least one level in that is very good. Uh, Panda summoned his hero. And I'm very curious to where did he summon it. As you can see, I'm kind of dominating middle too, too much. I really don't like that. Yeah, my hero is already level 7, that's like insanely good, insanely good, but yeah, I, I hope I'm not gonna over push because of that. Uh, this aura that affects only air units, I feel like it's gonna suck. The way is too early, I don't wanna level up this, I feel like one level in it is already good. Uh, bonus damage and stun for all werewolves. Uh, Manticore. Serrated darts. I think I'm gonna go for another caster upgrade. There's a big push coming from, um, by the way, my tower, my base damage comes from the second damage upgrade. Okay, blue is dying. I feel like I'm playing my economy pretty well. Pretty damn well. So, starting from now, I feel like it makes sense for me to go masonry. Because I'm already winning in the middle and I don't want to over push. Because I'm already, you know, winning this line and I'm gonna be already... I'm already being pushed on this one. Uh, chance to morph on kill. I feel like... This one, like, level 1 is good. But, like, level 2 is already a bit expensive. Top. Got destroyed. That's funny. Um, oh, actually... Please don't join pro games. That's kind of rude. I'm not gonna lie. Um, his casters will survive my nuke. Yeah, just buy a little bit. I don't know what to go for. I get mid. Yeah, green is a host who said that yeah only pros should join this game and now he is mad about the fact that yeah the guy joined and lost a barrack and now he summons a hero to him kind of want to upgrade this lesser right i feel like lesser right is just so good but it's 25 percent chance i feel like yeah it's because it's 25 percent chance it might be not the best <laughs> like it applies being applied by assassins and town guards it's gonna be I feel like apply it anyway. Oh, you know what I can upgrade? Uh, yeah, increase the chance of cursing units. I feel like that is very good. Uh, what else can I upgrade? I can upgrade Roar. Just don't know if it's good not yet or not. We'll think about that. I was very indecisive, yeah. I feel like I should have had plan how to use my gold in case I'm gonna get a lot. But it just all came at once. I mean, Roar is good. <clears throat> Maybe you have to max it out. It's like 50, 50 extra damage. It's just like a low one is already decent, so yeah. Getting more and more damage upgrades, because I'm contesting middle. 
Damage upgrades are not not so relevant when you're pushing like against certain people. But I feel like it is very relevant when you are contesting middle, so you get more last hits. Uh, Panda gonna contest middle, I think, soon with his hero. He went to free mid. Um, yeah, I'm supposed to have a lot of cash right now. 16.3 thousand gold. Green has actually the smallest amount of cash. That's, I guess, why he's so triggered. I'm gonna go for uh, mercenary now. Because there is nothing else to do. I mean, I'm already pushing people, so why would I push even more? Just... Let's absorb lesser rate. Yeah, because as of right now... I really know, like, yeah. Yins die way faster than they take damage from lesser rate. Does affect heroes, it affects only non-hero units. I feel like, yeah, then lesser rate is not that good. Normal poisons do affect heroes. So we have 8-2 uh, upgrades. And we multiply this... Uh, we are rules quite a lot. Also, yeah, if you have a lot of damage, you, you are guaranteed to kill units, and when you kill a unit, you heal yourself for 500 HP. Right? So that's how they keep themselves alive. HP capacity matters, of course, but it doesn't matter if I like too, too much. As of right now. I kind of panicked because uh, Troll summoned a hero plus tier 3 barrack. I like Panda right now summoned a hero as well. So uh, the way Sarwal hate Worgen so easy so strong. So the way like uh, it works in Sarwal Chaos, army led by a hero aggros on whatever building that is attacking the hero. So right now it's focused on units, but I feel like the moment units gonna perish, this barrack if not if it will not be attacking the hero, while. My towers are attacking the hero. It's gonna aggro on towers. And then if the towers not attacking the hero and my main attacks the hero, it's gonna aggro on my main. <clears throat> yeah, going for the mercenary because I can't make money any other way. I'm already dominating middle. Well, I was. My hero now has, yeah, pushed through, unfortunately. Thinking about summoning another one on middle now. But I feel like I'm already winning. They will, know, they will never know what hit them. Okay, I'm gonna summon this guy. He has one Piricora, so he has a good chance of winning. Lady Liadrin is one of the best heroes that, like in game, in my opinion. It's very, very strong, so yeah. We're gonna see about that. We're gonna see if she's gonna win uh, middle from us. If I summon my hero just a little bit earlier. Uh, he, goes, he got XP from my hero, by the way. The one that, that died right now. Um, I could go for armor, but I really want to also go for the tier 3 caster upgrade, and I really want to go for a uh, higher chance of cures. I mean, actually, no, let's go for armor, yeah. I have good chances of losing mid right now to Lady Liadrin, so... I'm gonna closely observe if you're gonna go tier 4 mid. If so, I'm gonna match it. Uh, this guy does not seem to go for uh, tier 3 yet. On me. It's very interesting. I'm pushing a little bit into troll. It's annoying how he survives on low HP. I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of gold now. Maybe I should have tagged and went tier 3. Caster upgrade. Okay, that's a huge uh, cluster of units. I'm gonna go tier 4 mid. I would like tier 4 mid actually makes sense. I'm a bit scared of losing mid right now. The Lady Liadrin. 
and him going to three caster upgrade before me because that's how Platos normally play. They like to rush uh, caster upgrades, so yeah. <clears throat> Here to main. Just afraid of uh, super units. Slightly. Uh, my Darius Cloud is for HP. Lady Leadrin is taking some damage, but not significant amount of. <clears throat> you know what? Yeah, I feel like people actually should max out the roar. Because it's uh, very, very good. If it's cast one by one by every uh, tier 2 melee unit, then it's very effective. They shall burn. Is it the second hero on mid? Because if it is, I'm gonna just summon my Gilnea skin. And I'm also gonna have double hero on mid. So yeah, it's no problem for me to do so. He also went tier for mid, okay. We have exactly the same plans. We don't wanna let go of uh, middle. Okay, but nah, uh, the blood mage was summoned somewhere else, it's not mid. So either of the heroes are fine. This guy, because of the blood vampiric aura, is very good. Oof, 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 oof. And now the top has fallen too. At this point, uh, yeah, green sh you'll say, you should not jo have joined this game. It's a pro game. Why are you here? <laughs> and I don't understand to be honest, yeah, I mean, I don't feel like green is playing. I, I don't understand why green is complaining, to be honest, while going to for barrack on mid with Lady the Adrian. I feel like he could have foreshadowed that he's gonna lose it against me, so yeah. I know. Uh, let's go for the caster upgrade, let's go for the cure's blood again. And probably at this point, I can start pillaging on this guy and then pushing on... Uh, I feel like Panda is the weakest. Like, throw head sometime, has some upgrades and stuff. Double hero, by the way, by Panda. But I don't think he's gonna win this. Yeah, he has very bad upgrades. Panda does not know how to play in Z. He has very, very poor upgrades on units, while well, I have already 8 6. So, yeah. Just gonna try to take this down, I guess. This middle is uh, looking so juicy. So, so juicy. Another thing is that I could also summon the super unit to push uh, Panda more. But I feel like it's gonna be pointless because... It's gonna be pointless because... Uh, his main building explodes and kills everything, right? But I really don't want that. Somehow throw is going actually faster. Maybe I should have upgraded my better control and then summon super unit on him. Yeah, he took so much damage and like Panda. Panda is like overreacting and defending himself. But troll does not. Huh. Yeah, very interesting. <clears throat> I wonder if I summon a, if I make a tier 3 barrack right now on the side. Will I push in or not? Let's try. Maybe I'm gonna push both sides actually, yeah. Maybe I'm going to push both sides. <clears throat> Evasion now makes sense more because I have so much HP. This one is maxed out, so once again I have school spell. For Pandaria and Cry for Mercy. He is summoning more and more heroes. Lothamar. Wow, that's a huge push on middle I have accumulated. Yeah, Worgen are just broken. 
the fact they heal themselves when they kill a unit is uh, quite disgusting. He will have to use a defensive spell against me. Or this thing gonna fall. How this guy says that he is a pro? Okay, he re aggroed, but like... Wow. 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 <laughs> like, I mean, dude, yeah, but like... Uh, save up for a hero, save up, I know, like, use defensive spell. Yeah, why, why, like... <laughs> I know, that's kind of sus. Okay, I'm gonna go for Turbo Barrack and pressure this guy more. This is a quite a speedrun game, yeah, I'm, we are playing for 25 minutes. Banned for life, but like, you know, they just can't host their own games and, co and name them pro. And then ban green. <laughs> so Ryakawa's community is the best community. Red is fat as fuck and he sends me heroes, what did he expect? Does uh, green send heroes? Oh, he knows BG! Yeah, I, th I thought I'm the only one who uses such phrases. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna, yeah, because it's only green now. I mean troll. Oh wait! Oh, that's the only thing that is left. There you go. GP. Amazing game. War of YouTube. G boys. Hopefully this guide was a good one, you know, on how to play Worgen and why is it so broken and imbalanced. But yeah. I guess I'm gonna upload this one YouTube today. So yeah. See you guys. Thank you for watching. Love you all. Peace.